okay, I've heard I've heard this before. Um, this is just one example I know. I'm not gonna say this happens every day because I've only seen it once. Where a person on I can't remember what social media thing it was a long time ago, but I remember, just remember um, someone roasting <laughs> this anti-vaxxer. But then he said something that uh, really sh uh, struck a nerve. He said, um, go do this and this and that, you child, uh, you child murderer. And that's just like, it's really messed up. Because they were, <laughs> if a, because it was, um, some anti-vaxxer had her, had her kid die, right? So imagine, you find this news article one day, and it scares the living daylights out of you. You want to protect your children, and you think you know the truth, right? You know what big pharma is about to do. You, you know to your child, you're going to put in plant microbots or whatever they believe. I don't know what they believe. But you're trying to protect your child. That's what their, that's what their goal is. Their goal is not malicious in any way. And then your child, <laughs> not very unexpectedly, dies. That's pretty traumatic and pretty messed up. And then some asshole over the internet, I'm gonna call them an asshole list, even though they're right, even though they're right, I'm gonna call them an asshole, right? Some a-hole says you're a uh, child murderer. Maybe they're right about, um, Maybe they gave factual information. Maybe that's what they're right about. But what they're wrong about is saying stuff like that. You need to stop antagonizing people. Because, like, it's not going to convince anyone, right? This person could have trauma from the doctor that reinforces that, um, false, that false news they've gotten. They could have. They uh, maybe the maybe the doctor touched them in a way, and I'm not. And I don't mean in a good way. Maybe they have. Um, I don't know. Things can happen. Things can happen. Actual doctors can do bad things. That happens. But most of the time, doctors don't do bad things. But they might think that. Just like how um, maybe someone who's sipping, <laughs> their male tears cup <laughs> like I'm sorry they're, they they have tears themselves they're hurting all right they're not they're not doing this just to piss you off I mean they are but <laughs> they're not they're not doing this just because there's always a reason to why people do things it's not just Oh, you know what? Men are so evil because one time, w one guy dumped me. No. No. Unless they're, like, psycho actual psychopaths are actually part of a dark triad. They're not going to do that. So, something happened to some them. People who are hurt emotionally hurt other people. People who aren't hurt emotionally hurt other people. We all hurt people. We all have hurt someone we've loved before. And that's what I want to get at. We're all human and we've all have done wrong things. <sighs> it's just it's so infuriating to see like the, the people who I uh, the people who I agree with I want to talk about this later. The people who I agree with say things like that. Like, yeah, sure. This person, this person thinks uh, uh, autism is a, a dis some sort of sickly disease, and we're incapable of uh, incapable of anything, and then we're just useless. Like that's pretty freaking degrading. But you notice it's also freaking pretty freaking degrading. Um, being told. That your son will never be normal, and your son will never be this and, and that and that, by some organization that's this sort of <laughs> disguised um, as an organization meant to help you, but is actually an autistic hate group.
props to you, by the way, on not being a hate group anymore. You puzzle piece bastard. That's, that's all I wanted to say.